Well, you know, I mean, it, we started out really good, and, and, and you know, we had we had some momentum going over the last six games, and then we get to a situation where the weather kind of puts a stall to that, and you always worry that your guys are going to be, you know, kind of kind of dead coming out after something like that. And, and, and you know, we came out today and didn't play well in the first game, didn't pitch well in the first game, and. Uh, we brought him in here and just basically told him, hey, listen, that one's over with. You still have a chance to do, you know, what we came here to do, and that's to win the series, regardless of how we win it. You know, just try to win it. And uh, they did a great job of just staying, staying hooked the entire game. Overall, like, this series, I feel like, was an offensive explosion, especially yes. today. Yes. So what do you attribute to that, at least on our side? What were you guys seeing from the Sacramento State pitchers? Do you want to answer that? Uh, I think just – preparing well and working hard the last few weeks and I mean we we went through a little cold slump halfway through the year and I think we're just kind of sticking with the plan now. Did you switch anything up game, game time wise between the first and second games of today? Like, uh, yeah. No not really I mean you just just try to do what you know what we normally do and and just try to prepare ourselves in the normal way that we've been preparing ourselves over the last couple of days. Um, you know, like I said, anytime that there's, you know, rain delay or something like that, you know, you put yourself in a situation where uh, it's a little bit different and now there's some adjustments that need to be made as far as when you prepare yourself and, you know, how many games you got and how many innings. But uh, I think our, our guys did a heck of a job this weekend. How are you doing health-wise? I'm good, man. Thank <laughs> good. you. I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> After games like that, though, it's, it's uh, you know, the heart takes uh, takes a beating, but sure. but but uh, but good, good. Yeah, with the uh, the run that you guys had, especially with the sweep against Utah Tech and coming back here, like how did it feel to one be back at home and then two to have that first game go the way it did and now have having rebounded in the second game? Sure, sure. Um, I, you know, I think that's you know testament to the team, you know, and testament to our team leaders, you know, and, and guys that. You know, kept us moving in the right direction over the six games that we won, and then you know you have a little hiccup there, and you know, which is it's bound to happen at some point. You know, and, and, and it happened to get, you know it happened to be today, and I think our leaders did a really good job of keeping everybody focused and, and getting everybody you know fired up to, to come back and get after it in the second game. Somewhat of a quick turnaround. You guys are going to Baylor on mm -hmm. Tuesday, and then you'll mm -hmm. be heading to Tarleton, so yep. a week a week long road trip essentially. Sure. What do you guys think you'll see? Uh, I think it's. You know, uh, it's going to be tough. It's going to be on the road. You know, um, we're going to be gone from home for a while. Um, we're going to have to learn how to prepare on the road and, 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 you know, be ready to play when, you know, when, when game time comes up. Okay. Well, good luck on the road, guys. We'll see you Thank next you. week. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.